remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. The political turmoil surrounding the fate of Edo State's Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Philip Schreibu, continues as the State House of Assembly presses forward with impeachment proceedings despite challenges in physically serving him the impeachment notice. Our correspondent brings the latest on this contentious issue, highlighting the Assembly's determination to proceed with the impeachment process, regardless of warnings against unjust victimization of the number two citizen of the state. After its inability to serve an impeachment notice on the Edo State Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Philip Schwaibo, the State House of Assembly shows no sign of backing down as it reportedly published the notice on the pages of the Nigerian Observer and the Vanguard newspapers on March 12, 2024. Though this development has sparked calls for caution and fairness from various quarters, urging the Assembly not to succumb to pressures in its treatment of the Deputy Governor on account of his insistence on exercising his constitutional rights of contesting the 2024 governorship election against the will of his principal, Governor Godwin Obaseke. The state legislators last week directed the state chief judge to constitute a panel to investigate the allegations leveled against Right Honorable Shwaibu. In compliance with the directives of the State House of Assembly, the state chief judge, Justice Daniel Akumboa, set up a seven-man panel headed by retired Justice S.A. Omonua to carry out the investigation against the deputy governor. Because of... Uh the way this matter is, a straight jacketed matter, a matter that even the deputy governor have uh, thrown in the doorway because he knew that those allegations are imp unimpeachable. Whatever happens, the panel have the earliest day to report. They can report tomorrow and will take the necessary action. While it is not in doubt that the relationship between Schwaibu and his principal, Governor Baseki, has gone sore, many within and outside the state view the impeachment proceedings as excessive. Some watchers of trends in the Niger Delta want Governor Baseki against engaging in practices he previously criticized. Adam said you are not going to be there. It was Wigan who went to, to fight to see that uh, he was returned. And now he is doing the same thing against his own, can, his own uh, deputy. It is not supposed to be like that. You find that because both of them are, you know, in conflict or long ahead, then of course all their supporters see themselves as being in conflict. However, skepticism surrounds the credibility of the impeachment process, with some political leaders in Edo State doubting its chance of seeing the light of day. You don't serve an impeachment notice on the pages of newspaper. It's not one of the criteria. It's supposed to be given to him by his hand, by the authority himself. Looking at the first step they took, the first step was not too more democratic uh, in nature as a democratic state. Meanwhile, a federal high court in Abuja has refused to grant an application by the deputy governor who is seeking to hold the impeachment process by the governor and the House of Assembly. Shuaibu's application is aimed to maintain the status quo until the substantive suit was heard. However, Judge James Omotosho refused to grant the oral application and instead ordered the lawyer to serve all defendants with processes and hearing notices. As the relentless pursuit of impeachment against Right Honorable Schwaibo continues, adherents of the principle of democracy are concerned about the Assembly's motives, which they say undermines the principles of justice and democracy, as well as erode public trust in the state's political institutions. Inside the Niger Delta, 